my hair has never looked like this in my entire life guys like the curls are perfect i look like curly sue i look like i look like shirley temple i look like i don't know but i love it I'm back for another Women's Wednesday video. So I went to a brand new uh, salon and I got my hair did and this is the result. I actually have never gotten like my hair professionally done in my entire life. Uh, my mom has always done my hair. Every single day of the week, without fail, my mom had my hair in a high ponytail with one braid, just going straight down. And that was the only hairstyle I ever wore. When I got to the fifth grade and I started doing my own hair, I started experimenting a lot more. I never wore my hair curly because my mom had convinced me that it was ugly that way. Um, because to be perfectly honest, she didn't know how to style it. So so it was pretty ugly. Um, she would always tell me that it looked bushy, frizzy, unkempt, wayward, wild, and it was all of those things because my mom didn't know how to style it and of course if my mom didn't know how to style it, how could she teach me? When it was, um, you know, wet and it was still like drying, it looked great. But as soon as it dried, I didn't have any product in it, I didn't do anything to it, I would brush it out to like an idiot so over the years I tried a lot of different products and I kind of learned how to finally style my hair when it's curly mostly how I wanted but I still was never ever satisfied with the definition until today oh my god I absolutely love 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 what they did with my hair now I'm gonna tell you about my experience today. I found out about this uh, curly hair salon that only does curly hair and it's really really close to my office. So after work today I went in, I booked an appointment last week for today and after work I went in and I got a uh, cut, wash and style and I love the results. Just look at this. It's beautiful. It's so beautiful. I cannot I cannot get over what they did to me. I know I sound really narcissistic right now, but my hair has never looked this good. I, I have to tell you. So I went to Jonathan Torch Curly Hair Institute. Um, they're in Toronto. That's their address at the bottom there and their website and their phone number. Um, now I did check out their website. There's a couple um, YouTube videos actually on their website. I don't recommend watching them. There's also a lot of information on their website about their product and a lot of information on their website about hair. I don't recommend going through all of that. To be 100% honest with you, just judging from their website, I, I wasn't really sold. Um, so I said, it's down the street from my work. Let me go in. Let me talk to someone. Let me see, you know, what they have to offer. So that's exactly what I did. I went in one day when I had some time and I got a quick consultation with one of the stylists there. Um, her name is Lori. She is amazing. If you get the chance to go to her, I really recommend going to her. She was playing with my hair, touching my hair. I was telling her my problems, telling her my insecurities, telling her my visions and my dreams and my hopes for beautiful hair. And she was like, I can do that for you. I can make that happen. What we're gonna do for you is, what she did for me is what she calls an eyelash cut. I'm guessing, this is 100% guessing here, I'm guessing that's why they call it an eyelash cut because what she did is she actually um, like washed my hair, conditioned it, rinsed it. Um, then she went through and kind of like part all of the different sections. So she went through with her comb and then snip, 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 snip. And the amount that she cut off was literally like, like this much, maybe, maybe like this much hair. She cut off of the ends, which is about as long as your eyelashes. So what I always struggle with and what every curly girl struggles with, I'm sure, is frizz. Frizz, frizz, frizz. Frizz is a monster and you are comfy in the night. So, <laughs> as you can see, there is no frizz 
Frizz be gone. She used all of their original products. They have their own product line that's actually called um, Curl Keeper. I purchased me some Curl Keeper for myself because I was sold. I was sold. Um, I must admit, like, they are pushing their products pretty hard on you. I'm in business development and sales industry, so I, I know how it is. I know, like, you gotta make money. You're, they're not there to, like, smile and laugh at you. You, you. you gotta push your product. So I'm always open to hearing people. So I was like, yeah, if it's good, I'll buy it for sure. So that's this guy right here. That's the first thing that she used on me was that shampoo. Then she used the 30 second detangler, which was this curl keeper 30 second detangler. She used that. What I was blown away by, and when I say blown away, I mean blown away. Like my hair has never looked like this in my entire life, guys. Like the curls are perfect. This bad boy right here. The Curl Keeper Total Control for Frizzy Hair. So this is actually a styling product. It has some of the properties of a gel because it does dry kind of stiff. Like it does feel like I do have like hairspray in my hair right now. So if you don't like that, I wouldn't recommend this product for you. If you don't like that stiff feeling, I really don't care how my hair feels because ain't nobody touching it. I care how it looks. Um, so it does feel stiff, but it doesn't like, it doesn't act stiff. Does that make sense? So like it still has a ton of movement. Like I can do whatever the heck I want, but I think you do need those kind of like properties that gel has to really have that hold and really stop the little teeny tiny flyaways which is what frizz is when it comes down to it i'm gonna give it a try i'm so excited to use it um, i'm gonna be using it for the first time next week once i let once i do a new wash for this okay so i am not a hair guru by any means so i don't know what the correct terms are but she used a brush very much like this one um except the size was smaller so the brush that she used was about half this size so it was skinny um but the texture of the bristles was very similar to this so if you have one of these brushes you're good to go she um, part my hair into small sections like this and then she took the brush the skinny brush and she just pulled it along so it was like completely straight pulled it along and my hair was really wet when I did this your hair has to be very very wet is what she said I'm just taking the words of what she said when I try it myself we'll see so just make sure as you're going through because it's gonna take a little while obviously for you to do your whole head so if you're done like half of your head and then the rest starts to dry just keep your spray bottle of water handy so that you can keep your hair wet and then she took like a generous handful of this like I'd say like that much um, and she rubbed it and then she ran it through my hair very generously and then she brushed it out again made sure it was straight and then literally all she did like she was holding it and it was straight and then all she did was flick it and I swear to you my hair went and it came into a perfect ringlet and then she did that again so obviously she started from the bottom like it was amazing it was like magic happening before my eyes so I asked her a little bit more about this product apparently it's really big their social media page for this product has 33,000 followers she told me that it's available in Target she told me that it's available in trade secrets in Canada I don't know if you guys have that in America I think I don't know. I don't know anything, guys. Don't listen to me. Um, she told me that they go to the um, hair show in Atlanta every year. Um, she told me that like this is like their life. Like Curl Keeper is their life, and I buy it because I bought it. I'm so pleased with it, guys. Like I cannot tell you how pleased I am with how my hair looks. I love it. Absolutely love it. 
thank you so much for watching. Thank you for coming back another week again and supporting me and supporting this channel. If you like this video and you want to see more things like this, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you liked this video and you want to see more things from me, subscribe to my channel and I make videos every now and again. <laughs> yeah, just subscribe and you'll find out when I post something. <laughs> Bye! Being he the Human Centipede 1 and the Human Centipede 2. Number two was actually significantly more disturbing than number 